Call for fire, map reading, and weapons qualifications are just a few of the 22 stations that more than 300 173rd Airborne Infantry soldiers are tackling to earn their EIB or Expert Infantryman's badge. Pull to the rear. For many, the EIB is considered to be a rite of passage. It's awesome. It's great training. It's good development for senior leaders and junior leaders, everybody alike. Training in basic skills is a major goal of the EIB program, but it also provides an area of common experience and vocabulary every infantryman should know. It's an absolute technically proficient in all their weapon systems, so if something goes down, they know how to fix it. They know how to load it. And say um, their buddy to the right goes down with the saw and you need that firepower, they know to pick it up and how to uh, load it and correct that malfunction. All right, behind you, you have a 50 cal. Inside the back of that truck. It takes weeks of training to get ready for the testing phase to earn their EIB. This pressure-filled experience has been around since 1943, showing its time-tested relevance. This is our bread and butter out here on these lanes. These soldiers know the importance of the Army motto of train as you fight. We say that all the conditions in there got to be uh, sunny every day, you know, mud. It's just like real-world situation. It rains and it snows. It's muddy. It's dry. It just, it's good training. Your double no goal. Not everyone completes the EIB the first time. But whether they earn the badge or not, they grow as infantrymen, making them more prepared for when duty calls. Specialist Joe Tolliver, Vicenza, Italy.